What is up, Rap Potential YouTube, and welcome to today's Rap Potential video. We are cranking away on the white RX-7 rally car, and uh, as you can hear, we've got fuel draining. So, I made a video about removing the gas tank and stuff more specifically. If you need that information, it's up here somewhere. And uh, right now, basically, I've got to fill you in from the last time we were here. We have the entirety of the interior stripped, minus the handbrake cables, because I don't have the handbrake stuff disconnected from the axle. It's much easier to take it all apart from underneath. So I have to take my ground wire out, clean everything in here, which is so I'll get pressure washed again. Every inch of wiring has been removed from the vehicle, minus the um, column wiring there. And I still got to pull these two rear marker lights. So, kind of getting the feel for the front. Still got to pull fuel lines, brake lines off the bottom of the car, drop the whole front subframe and stuff. The coils are just sitting there. Probably pull the hood hinges back off. Clean everything up, make everything sick again. Um, probably drop the subframe and everything out of the front. Really the only things detachable that will be staying on the car is really just the windshield and the quarter glass, um, as well as the column and the steering box. I don't plan to take those apart. They're kind of a pain to get back together. So we're going to leave them together. So, now, what we're getting ready to do is remove the rear bumper. And for those of you who've never done this, there's two covers underneath the car, underneath your carpet, just like this. I sit right there. This is a great spot for mice to make nests. I had one in that side. So, keep that in mind. They can crawl up the frame rail because this is basically your frame rail. In here is two, four, or one side, one bolt on each side, 14 millimeter bolts. You're going to pop the two nuts off, and literally the whole bumper as a unit will slide off. Those are the only two things that hold it on. Your license plate lights, the wiring will have to get disconnected, but I've already pulled all the harnesses out. So, that is that. Fun fact, shaving your antenna, do that. I'm actually going to shave it properly. but um, Up here, I do still need to remove the lower dash, the lower dash hold-on piece, and the shifter surround. Clean all this out, pressure wash it all out, make it look epic. So I think my gas pedal's still in there. I guess we'll take that off too. So I'm excited to uh, get this thing up in the air here right now and uh, start tearing this thing apart. So enjoy some more strip time lapse of this car. And maybe if I'm feeling lucky, you might see the little bits of trim come off the car too in this video just because I'd like to get the chassis as stripped as possible. So, let's get to it.
What's up guys? We are finishing up today's video. So, <clears throat> we have the white rally car all tore apart now. We've got the rear end out. We've got all the front suspension off. We've got the rest of the dash out. We've got, you know, not much left. Basically, the brake lines are on. The fuel pump and filter and stuff still on. It's just like dirty down there. So when I put it on the rotisserie and flip it on its side, we'll take all that stuff off super easy. Um, and then the rear suspension links I got to drop out. But a couple things I wanted to show you. Uh, some super awesome things to this that I've discovered or didn't super know about this car, but now that we do. First, suspension, right? It's got some sort of coilover sleeve on here. I box spring. You can see right here. These are the springs to just uh, keep the big spring seated, these little ones. Um, super easy. You can basically just like full bottom them out. Limit straps. There's no front sway bar on the car. The other thing that's awesome is you can see all of the extra bracing that's up in here. Um, and I have a video about like front rally suspension and stuff. I talked through some of this already, but you can see all that. Same thing on this side. Now, moving to the axle. If you guys look at that axle, look at all that extra metal on there. We got braces along the back. These are different strut perch or uh, spring perches that actually have retainers on here. So these little pieces bolt in from the bottom to hold that on. And then the lower suspension links are super reinforced. Notice that plated up. So when you smash it into stuff, it doesn't break. A little truss action here. And then this is something else that's wild. Notice the size of that front uh, drive shaft flange <coughs> or the pinion flange look at the size of that one back there here's a good comparison the small one on your left the big one on the right the big drive shaft flange is the factory GSLSE size um, but this has a small one on it this is definitely a GSLSE axle so it's interesting to me that they put the small one on but after looking at it the drive shaft that's in it is actually an SA drive shaft with replaceable U-joints. So if you think about it, replaceable U-joints, they come in and out. The later model GSLSE ones don't, so good upgrade. As far as the rest of the rear stuff goes, there's nothing too wild going on. Um, I had to cut the exhaust off to get it off. No big deal. We're going to build a new one. Um, I do think, I might have mentioned it already in the video, but I want to add a dash bar. So I need to refit the dash in there and see where I can route a dash bar without disturbing a lot of the uh, basically a lot of the stuff under the dash it will be 100% necessary to maintain heat and stuff so if I can't find a way to to route it down through there somehow then we'll uh, we'll see about leaving it out or, or do whatever I don't know I'd rather see one in there but we will uh, we'll see what we can do um, otherwise that's pretty much it gas tanks out all the big stuff's off, and uh, we will be getting this thing on a rotisserie in the next video, getting it up in the air, flipping it on its side, getting the bottom of the car cleaned and painted and, and looking fresh. So look forward to that. I want to thank Justin for uh, helping me out a little bit this week. These uh, This size of an overhaul, especially when I work during the day, um, I'm only going to work on it for three to four hours a night. It takes a little bit longer to show you guys progress. So. Um, he's going to put up some videos about doing his M3 transmission swap, which he's been working on the past couple weeks. And uh, we're just going to keep keep the content rolling for you. So thanks for watching. If you want to keep following along with the builds and uh, and what we got coming, coming up next um, with uh, this car, the other turbo car that we're going to build. Um, we've got a Corvette. Justin's got a bunch of BMW stuff. So if it's your first video, feel free to hit the subscribe button if we've earned your subscription. And uh, thanks for watching. Keep it red.